up all the rest of the silicone goo that's on here. Kind of carefully because they made such a huge mess of it. It is pretty important to watch the angles that you're using the razor blade at as well. You see, you can easily scratch a metal surface that you don't really want to. so much silicone up the top of this. It is absolutely imperative that this surface be completely spotless, free of any material, any oil, any anything when you're done. Otherwise you're Silicone will not adhere properly to it and it will develop a leak. This is one of those situations where paying a lot of attention is really important. Careful, take your time, don't rush. Get it in little bites if you have to. Extra careful to not scratch surfaces. Very, very gentle on all the extra little blobs. This upper lip right here probably isn't all that critical, but. Especially be careful with this surface because this is water, this is oil. You don't want these getting mixed. Because they'll do that underneath the cover and you'll never see it happen. Keep in mind there's a mating surface here and here also, so you want to make sure those are also clean. that surface dry remove the uh, timing chain tensioner I already loosened that up and got the new one
the old one. And a nice little little wear mark in the middle of it. I'm not going to run these all the way because I might have to move this to put the tensioners, the chain and stuff in. Let's get the guides in place. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the top bolt in first. That's the, probably the shallower one into a block. Under the head. And now we'll kind of sort of fight with this one a little bit. Lightly snug for the moment. I'll come back and torque those in a minute. I'm gonna make sure there's no oil left on this bolt. And we're gonna take the brand new gear out of the kit. This thing's got some sharp edges on it. Get the towel pin. Make sure that that towel pin is all the way in and seated where it's supposed to be. Lower it down in. Probably should put the chain around this first. Yeah, I'm going to put the chain around that first. Grab the new chain. Make sure to get your chain good and coated in oil first. Now we're going to take the chain, put all the little marked links facing out forward. Chain all forward here. Oh, I'm not even in screen. So now, before I go any further, I'm going to show you something that's very important. They make a special tool for this. This flat right here and this flat right here have to be parallel with the head. There's a tool that goes across this. I found just laying a piece of a metal bar across this just to make sure that the straight is fine. You don't really need to be too too worried about that, especially. If you understand that when you're at top dead center, this piston right here is at top dead center. 
if you rotate this can't crankshaft back there's the top mark right there run two teeth move it back that way two teeth all of your pistons are now down below top dead center and not a single one is capable of meeting a valve your full rotation of the, ca the camshafts so as long as it is two teeth back from the top, top dead center then you can do whatever you need to do so let's get the chain in and get back to the reassembly it's going to be one of those moments where you want to make sure your catch tray is right underneath the front end of the motor and then we're going to go working on that timing chain just sitting here in the oil I take the sprocket take the sprocket, set the sprocket in the chain I don't care where it's, what position it's in or anything, does not, none of that matters to me right now I'm going to take the chain I'm going to run it right down on the top of the guide that we just put in and then out around the crankshaft very carefully and then down into its little home it's a little uh, bolt in and we're going to put just a dab of blue Loctite on the bolt just to play it safe and then we're going to torque that bolt down we're going to use the wrenches to hold the camshaft still I do not know off the top of my head what the torque on this bolt is and I can't access data at the moment because of where I am I don't have uh, access to the internet and I am not even going to attempt to try to get to all data on my cell phone. So we're just going to snug this up for the time being. Okay. We'll worry about torquing that down afterwards. Now, we got to get it up around this, and we can put a lower gear on too. A brand new lower gear. Don't have to put the bolt in that way, I'm just doing it so I don't drop the thing. And we got one big round pin sticking up out of the crankshaft right here. And hopefully this is going to slide back and over. Let's just figure out a way to get this chain the heck out of the way for the time being. What in the world? So am I gonna have? Am I gonna have to tap this to get this thing to go on? going on. Alright. Now, let's get this phaser straightened out here. Again, I'm going to have to come back and put the final torque on these. Before I put the cover on, I also have the speed sensor sticking out right here, which I may have to remove. I 
did have to on this side to get the gear in there. Now it does say to make sure that this thing is in the fully locked position, which offhand the top of my head I have no idea. But I'm going to assume that it is. Try to work my way. Okay, that's where it should be. Now well, it looks like this is going to get a little bit more interesting yet. So I'm going to have to put these on the marks now. Gonna have to go there. And it's gonna have to come here because you're gonna need to turn a few degrees this way, anyways. That one's gotta go. Suppose a little slow rotation of the crankshaft might be okay at this point. Now where's the wrench? Well, he was going this way. Just gonna do this just to the point where we take the slack out of this chain. Chains in place, chains in place. Now we just got to get it located up here. And it's got to go one link this way to be on its mark. Now this is a torque to yield bolt also. It's supposed to be replaced. We do not have a replacement, so we're just going to be putting this one in cautiously and torque it afterwards. Compensate for the fact that it's already been stretched a little. I think we're good. Let's make sure that we are where we need to be before we go cranking anything down. That doesn't feel quite right right there. I think 
think this cam needs to go just a tiny little bit. Ah, oh, joy. This cam's got to come this way just a hair. This one back up where it was. Well, and keep straightening everything out because it falls down on you. Should be. Snug. Gold link. Gold link. Gold link. We're where we're supposed to be. Let's get that last guide in here. We've got the top guide that goes up here. And then we got this bottom one that goes down here. So we're going to get this one next. Oil all over everything. Should be wearing my gloves. Once again, I forgot. And we got that bolt right there. Tensioner back out again. Set that down face up so we don't get any dirty. There's a, uh, you guys can't see it from that angle. Let's get you a better angle for this. Take the tensioner and run the tensioner up in here. Get it lined up with that hole right there. We'll take this bolt, put this bolt in. There. And run that bolt all the way in, finger tight. up this chain, double check everything again, still on the mark, still on the mark, still on the mark, we're good, let's get that tensioner back in, come back up to the tensioner, don't drop the bolts in the dirt, good job, let's try that again, Without the dirt. Now I'm going to put one drop of Loctite. I'm going to put one drop of Loctite on each one of these bolts. We want to make sure that there's no chance these are going to come out. So we're going to go back. Same thing with these right here in a second because I forgot those. But, uh, there's one bolt. The other bolt. I'm going to leave those kind of loose for the moment so 
I can go get these other ones done. So Sure, I can still get down in there on those to torque them down. All right, and let's get this one. I think we put a lot tight on these just double check. Yes, we did. Okay. Let's run those all the way down in now. The timing is now set. Snug. Like I said, we'll come back and torque everything down per specifications. Uh, well, let's get those two in this.
much silicone on this. Oh my god. Like big chunks of it. I knew it, it's gonna be one. Gotta be one. Let's just see for ha ha's how bad this was. Yeah. Overall, I'd say it's really not that bad. There's still a lot of the original machining marks are still here. Pretty good. Back side of the gear looks pretty good. Front side of the gear's got Strange little weird patterns in it, but nothing bad. I don't see anything all too obnoxious in the ribs of the oil pump. A little bit. Nothing all too seriously bad though. going to go into. Make sure there's everything here is nice and clean.
Everything here looks good. Let's give this a little bit of a rinse. Straight across number two, diagonally across number three, directly across again number four. There's 90. We're going to put a paint mark on it, right towards the middle. Alright, well, it seems that uh, these things don't like to fit properly because they're aftermarket parts. So we're just going to have to make it fit. That's going to be a little fun. So this one here, we've got a little bit of, a little bit of movement on. Yeah, the problem with this is that it's, it's not reaching up high high enough to make it into that hole. So, I'm going to have to modify this just a hair. Because if it doesn't, it's game over right now. Nothing's going easy with this. Get aftermarket parts, they are a pain in the ass. 